Cordova. So PhoneGap started back in 2008, nine years ago, with the goal of building great mobile apps with web technology. Along the way, Cordova was born. Cordova focuses on packaging web apps into app store-ready binaries and bringing native functionality to these apps. Let's focus on Cordova first. So Cordova is actually starting to show its age. So what do we have planned for it this year? The main theme is modernizing, modernizing Cordova. That's a term you might hear quite frequently throughout the day. So we're updating Cordova to be built with and work with the latest JavaScript trends, JavaScript frameworks, JavaScript libraries out there. What, is, what does that mean? Well, for starters, every Cordova project is now a Node.js project. Every Cordova project ships with a package.json file. So you can use the vast amount of uh, Node modules on NPM to help build your Cordova applications. But we aren't just including a package.json so you can use third-party Node modules. We're moving our dependency management over to package.json. So whenever you add a platform or a plugin uh, to your application, we literally are running npm install under the hood, and those, uh, package, those platforms and plugins are being added to your package.json automatically. Uh, we also have introduced a new Cordova key. Uh, and this is used to keep track of which platforms and plugins are installed on your, in your project uh, and their variables. Uh, and that's very useful when it comes time to restoring your project on different machines. Part, part of modernizing Cordova is deleting old code. So it's time to say farewell to some older platforms that we support. In Cordova 7, we've officially dropped support for Windows Phone and Firefox OS. And in the next major version of Cordova, we'll be dropping support for BlackBerry and Ubuntu. Uh, these platforms have seen support drop, usage drop worldwide. Uh, instead, we're going to be just focusing on the browser platform, iOS, Android, and Windows Universal. We've also dropped support for older versions of Node. So now, if you want to use Cordova, you need to use Node 4 or above. This allows us to use newer ES6 features when actually do developing Cordova. Hopefully, that'll attract more of you to come contribute as well. Uh, we've improved extensibility, so we're, we're working on it. Uh, we've added a new Cordova uh, config command, which allows you to set global variables for your projects. We've also added support for third-party platforms. So we've, we've created an API uh, for talking for platform to CLI integration. So as long, if you want to build your own platform, all you need to do is implement that API and now it should work with Cordova. Uh, we're currently working on creating a guide for that, for those steps, uh, and it should be up shortly on docs.cordova. And lastly, one of our continued goals is to keep growing the community. This means have more people use and contribute to Cordova. Shazron Abdullah, who's the VP of Apache Cordova at the Apache Software Foundation, uh, we'll be doing a talk on this um, after lunch. So while Cordova handles the native side, PhoneGap will continue onward with the goal of creating first-class mobile apps. Part of that is our plan to separate Cordova and PhoneGap because they solve different problems. That's always been a pain point for people. What's the difference? We're going to try and make that more clear. So PhoneGap wants to start treating Cordova as a dependency. We're going to add Cordova as a dependency in your package.json file. So now you don't have to worry about updating your system version of Cordova and having it break possibly the older apps you've worked on. Uh, you don't have to worry about your teammates, coworkers having different versions of Cordova on their machine and you guys running into incompatibilities. Now the Cordova version will ship with your app, and PhoneGap will use that version of Cordova when it's doing any Cordova-related commands. 
Uh, so this is something that we're still taking feedback on. So if you like this idea, please come talk to me. Or if you don't like this idea, talk to me, because we need to hear that type of information. Likewise, PhoneGap is looking to the future, and we want to start treating progressive web apps as an output target. We're working on updating our API to match our APIs and plugins to match the, rel the current W3C specs and uh, create new, new plugins for APIs we don't support. Uh, we'll then package up these APIs into the PhoneGap PWA plugin. So we want you to be able to build a PWA and compile it into a Cordova app if you want. That way you can submit it to the app stores or you could extend functionality to maybe some APIs that aren't available in PWAs. Simon McDonald will touch more on PWAs later today. So while, Cordoving, while guiding you from Cordova to the true web, we're, we're now going to move up the stack. So we haven't built our own app framework, and we don't plan to start doing that now. But we do plan to help you build better apps using existing frameworks. So today, we have some great talks lined up. Uh, Max Lynch will be speaking about Ionic, uh, Timo Ernst about Framework 7, Masa Tanaka about Onsen UI, and Alex Blom about Ember.js. So look out for those talks. Reliability. This year, we're putting an emphasis on making PhoneGap more stable and reliable. So when you see those analytic prompts requesting for you to share data, click yes. They're very helpful. <laughs> we're collecting the analytics to improve uh, crash, uh, crash reporting uh, and do more data-driven development. Nothing malicious, I swear. Uh, lastly, I want to give a shout out to Adobe I.O., Adobe's new effort towards building a developer platform for all of you. Uh, the goal is to easily add cloud functionality to remove common pain points when, develop, when developing your apps. We plan to support push support, improved push support, simplify sharing of your apps between your bosses and clients, uh, improved pairing with the PhoneGap developer app and PhoneGap desktop app, uh, and tighter integration with PhoneGap build. Keep your eye out for some of these new features. And with that, I say thank you. Cordova and PhoneGap wouldn't be the success with, without all of you here today. Thank you. <laughs>